Good morning everybody. Today I am filming on my new vlog camera. I'm so excited. So far I am loving this camera. It has been everything I thought it would be. I'm really excited. So today is Saturday, October 22nd I want to say. And this morning so far all I have done is just kind of hung out. Um, just got out of bed. It's like around 9 something, 9.15. I got a shower. And now I'm going to start doing some homework really quick. And then when I finish that, um, I'm going to clean the house because it's just starting to get really dirty and it needs it needs to be taken care of. Um, so I think I'm going to clean, <clears throat> get some grocery shopping done on Amazon Fresh, which I just started the other day and I love it. I need to run to the bank. I need to go out and buy some stuff for Halloween costume stuff. Just a bunch of errands and stuff. I just want to be proactive today, but I also want to get home by like, I don't know, maybe like four. And just like chill, straight up chill. Justin's gone this weekend and I am just plain exhausted. I was in a dodgeball tournament last night and that was so much fun. But like, I have like bruised knees, bloody knees still. And I just kind of want to relax because that was draining. So... It was really fun though. I wish I could have vlogged that, but I was playing the game so much and so hard. We got second place, so that's pretty good. But it was really fun. So I think right now I'm gonna just start that homework and just clean the house and whatnot. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that. Or is it just the latest trend? Does another's sadness make you feel powerful? And do their tears bring you joy when you're sad? Open your eyes, open your heart and you'll see there's a brand new start. Open your Okay, so I think I'm done cleaning for the day. I mean, I was gonna clean upstairs, but it's okay. I think the only thing I need to do is vacuum. Ugh, I don't like our bedroom. I feel like it's so boring. I wanna do something. We're going to probably be painting soon along with getting new floors, so that'll make it a little bit better. But I think I'm going to get ready now, so I'm going to do my hair and makeup. And then this is how I'm currently storing my makeup. I keep my palettes that I use like every day in here. These are like smaller palettes that I use. So I've got like a little MAC one, my Naked Basics, a little Lorac. Here I keep like powders and um, like highlight, bronzer. Those are just tools. This I just bought, and I haven't opened it yet because it's so beautiful, but the eyeshadows are just freaking amazing. And then here is just kind of everything else that I keep. So I'm going to do my makeup, and because a few of you said yes, that you would like me to do my makeup for you guys, I thought I'd do like just film me getting ready and see what you guys think. Okay, everybody, so I decided that I would just kind of do like my makeup right here because there's a little viewfinder up here, um, and I can kind of see myself clear enough where I think I can do my makeup with this instead of a mirror so that I can show you guys my current routine. I didn't used to do foundation every day. I just recently started doing it and that's because I found one that is like super sheer but also provides coverage enough to get rid of my redness. My skin is not very bad. I tend to have very dry skin as opposed to most people. So I've been using the same moisturizer for like a few months now. I got it in an old BoxyCharm subscription box that I was subscribed to and it's really dirty so don't judge me. But it's by the brand Previs and it's this one and it works pretty well for my skin type. I don't know where to purchase this to be honest because I got it in a subscription box but this is what it looks like. And then what I'll do is I'll just put a decent amount on my hand before I do anything else and get my hair out of my face. Okay, so the first thing that I will go in with is this new product that I just got like two weeks ago, and it is the Back Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and this stuff is amazing. It's an illuminating primer that will keep your uh, makeup 
in place keep it in place all day and it'll always provide this like dewy glow with your foundation and so it's really beautiful everything by Becca that I've tried so far I have loved and this is definitely no exception so I don't know if it's gonna focus for you guys but this is what the product looks like I'll take that and then okay get ready for this, this is my new favorite product ever it is amazing and this is why I get that perfect sheer coverage that I've been wanting the thing with this that I love so much is you can blend it in with anything. Your normal moisturizer, your normal primer, everything. And you can do as much or as little coverage as you want. So the way that the website explains it, I still have this on my hand. Um, the way that the website explains it is one drop is light coverage, two drops is medium, three drops is full, and four drops is complete coverage. You have a little dropper, and I've been doing about three drops mixed in with my Becca primer and it I've found gives me the perfect coverage like perfect 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 so I'll mix it in on my hand and it blends out so fast especially with the Becca primer The next product I'm going in came with the backlight primer that I ordered um, and it's the Becca under eye brightening corrector. So what I'll do is it just looks like this. It's like same thing kind of um, illuminating and I'll put this on underneath my concealer. This is the concealer I've been using at the moment. I heard about it from I think Jaclyn Hill here on YouTube. It's like the super cheap version of like the Makeup Forever one. It's the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Concealer and it looks kind of similar to the Makeup Forever one from Sephora. But anyways, I'll usually just put like a dab on my hand. I don't need that much. And then I'll take my finger and I'll apply it to the areas that I use the most. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with a powder. Again, I got this in a, a box like a really long time ago. This is by the brand Your Minerals Sweden, and all it is is a transparent um, powder. Now I'm going to take my Ulta Beauty Makeup Setting Spray. This is not my favorite product, to be honest. I find that it comes out really chunky, more than like a mist, so I have to hold it like super far away. Um, but I'll apply this about three times throughout the routine. So I'll do it right when I'm done with all my face makeup, when I'm done with my eye makeup, and then when I'm done, just completely done. So I've put on my highlight and whatnot. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows, and I use for this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So this is the new one that they came out with. It's a different shape than like the thinner one. It's this like, there we go. It's like this triangular shape. Um, and on the other end it still has their little brow comb, but I'm not going to be able to do this on camera because this takes way too much like paying attention, and I'm going to have to like actually get up there. So I'm just gonna be right back. Again, I don't think I can do my eyeshadow on camera. I've never tried it before. I think it'll just turn out bad, but I will show you what I'm gonna use. So the first palette that I'm gonna use is a MAC palette that I just kinda one of those like pan palettes that you can make up the colors yourselves. And in this palette, my favorite colors right now, I mean this whole thing is, look at it. It's beautiful. It's just, it's like the perfect fall palette. And these pan eyeshadows are um, reduced in price now. They're like $6. And then I'm also going to go in with my Urban Decay make Naked Basics um, palette. And I think I'll probably use like Naked 2, WOS, Venus, you know, just to um, transition for my transition shade. So we'll see. I'll show you when I'm done. I bought this like two days ago and it was by Essence and it's their eyeliner pen. And I bought the waterproof version and I bought the regular version and they're both terrible they don't look black at all they worked like the first time and then they were done so i mean that's what i get for paying like three dollars for this instead of spending like the nine or ten that i normally would now i'm gonna go in and do mascara and this is with my favorite mascara i raved about this in a vlog a few weeks ago and this is the tarte lights camera lashes a lot of people have said like it's nothing special but for me this just like works on my lashes Now I'm going to go in with another coat of the Ulta Setting Spray. 
I feel like you can like see the look on my face how much I don't enjoy doing that. And then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, my highlight, and my blush. So I could use some tips on how to do these better. So if you are a beauty person who is like just on trend, on fleek with this highlight, bronzer, blush stuff, let me know. I do the best that I can, but I'm definitely not the greatest. So I have three products that I are my go-tos right now for this. So the first bronzer is this, uh, I've had this, oh no, my nail chipped. This was like the typical beauty guru like recommendation when I was in high school. And it's the cheapest one that they had. I don't even know if they have this anymore, but it's the cheapest one that they had at the drugstore. And this is the NYC Smooth Skin, and I think they only had it in one color, which was sunny. But this is like the perfect, perfect, perfect shade for me, and it's, I just love it. Like, I've used it for so long, and it will literally last me, like, forever. What I've been doing is I just put a little bit on my brush and kind of shake it off, and I'll go from, like, the top of my sideburn area down here. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean this brush and use the same one for my blush, which is oh, another Becca product, and it is in Snapdragon. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just love it, and it's so pigmented. Favorite part of the day, hands down, makeup wise, and that is the Becca Champagne Pop. This is crazy raved about here on YouTube, so you probably already have heard about it. Look at this. It's just this beautiful luminous glow, and my battery is already dying, so I need to hurry up. But I will take my little brush that I got, and again, a, um, it's a Luxie brush. It's the 512 brush, and I will do just a little. Done with the makeup. Okay, guys, this is all ready to go now. I curled my hair, and this is the final makeup. It looks okay. I'm not like super excited about it, but it works for today since I'm not. Oh, look how cute you are. It's really not much, but it's enough for Saturday errands. Justin and I moved into this house over a year ago, and we still don't have a washer and dryer. If we get pregnant, for sure we're gonna buy one because living in a house with a washer and dryer with no baby, like that would be crazy. Um, so that's gonna happen hopefully soon so we'll get our own so mom you'll be out of the clear soon oh i also put on a lip color and this i got in um my ulta order it's like a deluxe sample and it's this buxom i don't know what it is is it a lip paint or something it's super matte let's see if it'll zoom there we go but it's really pretty i liked the color and it kind of went with what i was wearing so it's like a deluxe sample i think technically but it came with a decent amount. I dig it. So, anyways, I'm gonna go take this laundry to my mom's. Are you just the cutest thing or what? You are adorable. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, well, you were. Okay, so I'm at Target now, and I decided to pick up two of these new area rugs because the kitchen needs some. And then I thought this Dr. Pepper was super cute, so I got that too. But I think I'm about to check out. I was just looking at the vitamins because I'm almost out of folic acid. So I'm going to find those. Let's see. I know that they used to have them here super cheap in these little red bottles. Let's see. Oh, it's literally right in front of me. <laughs> okay, so I just left Home Goods. I was there for like 10 seconds. Just I wanted to get some of those like LED candles because... I wanted them for my bedroom, but I know I don't want to actually light them because they'll just drip down the sides. So I wanted to get fake ones that actually like smelled good still. So I went to Home Goods and I got two of those. And now I just got to our local like um, organic health conscious store, which is called Organic Roots. And they have a hot bar, like a lunch bar that is super good. So I'm gonna run in there and get something to eat. So I just got, they had like this chicken, which is sun-dried tomato and spinach and cheese chicken so that looks amazing and then the broccoli and the honey garlic shrimp and then some brown rice so I'm gonna eat now because I'm starving I haven't eaten all day well I feel stupid because I went all the way over there I made my purchase and then I'm checking out and it's too late I already put my like card into the machine and 
I totally forgot to use my coupon. That was like the reason I went today <laughs> was because I had a coupon. And I just completely forgot about it. So all I got was, whew, and I even got, oh my gosh, I did forgot about that part. I even bought like something I didn't need because you had to spend over $15 to use the coupon. <sighs> and then I forgot it. All I got was, the liner that I got, I decided to get this one. It's the Ulta brand one. I tried it on my hand and I wiped off my hand and it stuck on there pretty well. So I'm thinking that that was a good choice. So I got that. I still haven't tried the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and I wanted to try one. So I got this really cute color in Istanbul and I probably just butchered that, but they have like their new vault lipstick set coming out tomorrow at it said it'll be in store starting tomorrow so it's another reason for me to go but it comes with every single shade of these soft matte lip creams for like 65 dollars, and you can use a coupon on it so i was like oh i want to try it out and see if i like it because that'd be a good christmas present for myself <laughs> but for also um some other people that i know so i'm gonna try this one out and see what it thinks i need recommendations for a lip scrub i think that lush has one but it's like popcorn scented and flavored or whatever and I'm just like not a fan of that idea that does not sound appealing to me in any way but my lips get super chapped during this time of year and then they get like this crust around them which is here it's just gross and I don't like it and so I want to get something that I can like scrub around the edges I don't know about that whatever I already bought it let's try it out so on camera it doesn't look bad why the camera is messing things up for me on camera it looks okay but it just doesn't go with what I'm wearing like at all but I wanted to try it out so I mean I like I like the formula but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not. moms anyways it feels really good on the lips and the color is actually it's really not that bad I think I'll keep it it's in a prettier color that I just thought it was gonna be more of like a Okay, so the shade is on like the top of my hand right here. That's the color it is. I thought it was gonna be more similar to these tones on my hand. These are some of the two, those are like uh, swatches of the Too Faced melted lipsticks, which automatically are just gonna be better quality, but it's the color that's getting me, but I like it. Now, the more that I, <laughs> the more that I look at it, the less I hate it. All right, so I just, the basket that I bought at the dollar store, I was able to put all my meds in there, including the folic acid that I picked up at Target. And I also picked up a new aspirin because I mine ran out just yesterday. I picked up this candle because it was on clearance at Target. Maple pumpkin. It smells so good. I got this at the dollar store as well because I refuse to pay like $20, but our drain is pretty clogged, so it was like 99 cents. These are the candles I picked up at Home Goods. They're gray. They feel real, like they feel waxy, and they turn on underneath, so I'm gonna put those in the bedroom. And then the lip cream that I can't decide, so I'm keeping it rolled up. The eyeliner, the little clips I picked up at the dollar store as well, because I broke all of mine. And then this just came in the mail for the bride that I was mentioning in a vlog a few days ago. Um, the little flash drive that I ordered them to put their wedding photos on came in, so that is super cute. I think it came out adorable. And then I also put out the little rugs that I got. I got one for, I got two for the kitchen, but I think it looked weird with two, so I decided to put the other one over here. But I don't know if it's staying there. I don't know. Whenever we get a nicer house in the future, they can be in the kitchen together. I'm just gonna kinda put this stuff away and then I'm gonna go on my computer for a little bit, do some shopping, do some more homework, and I don't know, just chill. I think I decided I'm gonna go to church tomorrow instead. I just don't really feel like going out tonight. And it's already like four o'clock. I've been out for like two hours. Ooh, it's hot in here. So I think I'm just gonna go to church tomorrow and that's totally fine as long as I get there. <laughs> so it doesn't matter when. Look how cute they look up there on their little stands. I've had those candle stands for literally like ages and they have never had candles on them. Also, I don't particularly like this setup. If you guys are like an interior designer, please let me know so I can figure something else to do with this because it's bugging me. I just, 
I like that we have a picture above our bed too, but I'm not a huge fan of that either, so tips would be appreciated. Hi guys, so it's been a few hours since I talked to you, and I've just been upstairs doing some work. I've been um, editing that um, album of wedding photos that I took last week. We have been taking forever to upload. Oh my goodness, look at this. Out of the 420 photos, it's almost done. And now they are finally transferring onto the cute little USB that I got. So hopefully they'll finish soon. Two years ago, before I even knew I was a witch. All right, everybody, I think I'm gonna end the vlog for tonight. It is around 6.30 or 7, but I'm just gonna hang out and watch Halloween Town 2 because Justin took all of our movies with us, so I can't watch Hocus Pocus on his little underway. And so this was in the DVD player and I haven't watched it yet. So I'm gonna watch Halloween Town 2 and just hang out and chill. But I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday since I'm starting my Wednesday and Saturday vlogs. I will see you guys soon. Bye.